Hi everybody. This time I will make a video on how to turn your static HTML into an Android application. Both OB file format and app file. Here I have written step by step to make it. You can just follow. For the first method. We first create an HTML file in the dist folder. Let's assume you have created an HTML based project here. Because I will make this HTML quite simple. With CSS for background only. And after that, I will see the results first in the browser. Before we will proceed to the next stage. It's pretty simple and straightforward. We will proceed to the next process. And in the second step, which is written here, we will initiate the capacitor project by installing the capacitor module. And I will start installing it here. There are three packages that we need to install now. And here, a question will appear to fill in the name of our application. Then the location of the HTML file is. And the application package name. And we proceed to the next process, i.e. keystore creation, where the results will be directly stored in the Android folder. And here will appear a question that you must fill. And we have succeeded in making the key store. You can see that file in Android folder. And the next step is to encrypt to base64. And we make it in the Android folder location and end in the file name .base64. And next step is to create Android YML file in the .github folder 
because this YAML file will instruct the GitHub action to build our HTML to OB file. You can just copy and paste this YAML file in the description of this video. You just copy and paste it. Because nothing needs to be changed. And next is that we have to push to the repository on GitHub. Now I will do that. And now we go to our repository on GitHub and see the process in the actions section. You can see the build process for the app bundle here and see if you get an error too. But before that, I forgot to add the secret variable about the key store. So we're going to go first to the settings section then to secret. Then fill in the key store password section by copying the .jks release file in the Android folder. And next key store release password. This is your password when creating the key store in the previous process. You can fill in this section.
And after that, we repeat the GitHub action process by clicking on the rerun job button in the GitHub action. and we wait for the result. If successful a green tick will appear and you can download the ob file later now. And it looks like it's done. So we will download the ob file now. And then we will make the Android app file. And in this process, we will make it to the app file with the command here. So I'll just copy and paste and change the location of the ob file path. But we need a tool called Bundle Tool to convert it to Android app format.
Then fill in your Keystore password. When you created the Keystore earlier, Then we rename the apps file to zip format. And then we extract the zip and a file called universal.app will appear. And that file is the result of our build from static HTML to Android app. And we have managed to make the app file here. You can try to install this app to your Android phone. And for additional information you can also run apps files to your Android directly without extracting the zip. With the command in step no 10. Later I will tell. And this is the command to run your apps file directly to your real Android device. Of course, with a cable connection to PC and Android. That's all for this tutorial. I hope there are no errors when building and thank you for watching this video.